What's happening YouTube? I just want to um, do a little sneak peek, a little preview of what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just actually currently reconstructing, um, disassembling, um, putting back together the old the old tool. Okay, so it's more readable, um, understandable, um, and a lot more zen-like. Um, obviously, I'm trying to improve my code as well as making tutorials as well. So hopefully um, I grow in the process, I can look back and say, um, yeah, I did some good work. So um, what we have here is I'm using a few different layouts. OK, so it's more dynamic. All right. So I'm actually using the float layout and the scatter layout. Now, what this enables me to do is, as I show you here, and I also made a previous quick little video um, just to show Good evening, sir. Welcome to Caddy. And now we've got a welcome note as well. Right, so as you can see, the user can move this wherever they want. Okay, so they can um, they can they can basically um, design the GUI the way they want. Okay, so they can um, position widgets wherever they want. Right, so um, as you can see, if we go full screen as well, we can also go off the screen that's fine it's still gonna have the scroll view when we scan for hosts um, all right so if we press scan button here I'm using a, another module at the moment called um, net address which I'm gonna give a little uh, demonstration of uh, in this tutorial um, for those of you who have never heard of it most of you probably have okay but if you can see I've imported it here all right I'm actually currently building modules for the tool as well all right just to make the, the code a lot cleaner again and to make it a bit more efficient all right so this particular module here get label will actually return the label for the first page all right so if we go to how you install net address which is a module for Python all right to manipulate um, the IP the network details and stuff like that so all I did was a pseudo um, easy install Python and then net ADDR okay obviously mine's installed anyway so it's gonna tell me that hopefully all right okay so it's already installed now I'm just going to give a little demo of what net ADDR does for those of you who have never used it before. All right, so if you remember in the previous tool, um, we had a fixed string for the network ID. Yeah, so we didn't have too much flexibility with uh, scanning different ranges unless we actually physically put it in there. So if we just clear the shell okay we've already imported you see here if we get up here that's how you import and um, you can do it that way so you should do that okay and what we can do is as you can see from the code here just come down all right so basically we're just um, assigning the variable scan range to the function ip network in the net addr or net address module all right, and then it takes the IP plus forward slash and plus the net mask. Okay, and this will give you the CIDR notation. So let's do that. So we do scan range uh, equals. And we do IP network, and let's just actually do one nine two dot one six eight dot ten and dot nine and then forward slash uh, two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero okay and if we do a scan range we get that right so we can do a four IP in IP IP network 
and then input our variable scan range we can actually um, get all the available IPs to scan okay so we can send this into our threaded um, threaded function and just spawn a, bu a bunch of threads just to scan the LAN okay so we do this uh, just as an example we can do percent and then IP should be good and there we have it okay so there we go so this should work on any subnet it should figure it out itself which is good all right it makes it more versatile a lot more versatile okay um, obviously I'm gonna readjust the code and everything don't worry I'm gonna be supplying the code um, as soon as I figure out the best way to do this um, obviously I'm gonna do it my way um, and follow um, whatever needs to be followed okay so um, thanks for tuning in um, thanks for watching again guys uh, there's a lot of things to come a lot more uh, features to be added as you can tell from the start up okay thanks for watching keep coding keep being awesome good evening sir welcome to Caddy. see ya